have your way and have your way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. What has he been with? Amen. Amen, hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Father Lord Jesus, we come before you this morning. We put thanksgiving. Thank you, my Father Lord, for enabling us to come and gather together here in your house. Lord Jesus, I want to believe and trust that you will not go back the way we are here. We are going to speak to you as through me, Lord Jesus. I know I am just, just a vessel. You want to use me for your glory, Lord Jesus, as I speak. It's not me speaking, it is you speaking to your people. Because I know in you everything is possible. As we go to your word, Lord Jesus, I want to pray that you are going to touch our hearts so that we can understand more about you, about your kingdom, about what you have, you have for us in the future, our eternal inheritance, our eternal rewards. Lord Jesus, I want to pray for our church members present and those watching us online. Lord Jesus, we want to remember also our senior pastor, Lord, wherever he is, that you may continue to guard him and protect him and his family. Lord Jesus, continue to be with us, continue to bless us, for we, we want to pray, trusting and believing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Our children, Pastor Naziri is waiting somewhere. Our children... Over, over a few weeks, we have been going through several things. Pastor started with understanding the rewards, our basic rewards in, in the near future. We have been, uh, we started about also uh, utilizing, making use of our spiritual gifts. What, we also learned about what's church. Church is not a building, church is you and me. We went through that. We also, Pastor Nasir also talked about how church looks like when men lead the church. There are transformations. Some people will look, maybe the way I am, maybe I imitated one of my pastors out there because when you are there, you watch how people do. Children normally watch how you do things. And I've seen it and I can be witness. So I think we went through that one. Last week, Nasir, Pastor Nasir said, we are, the church is the embassy of God here on earth. Today we are going to look at, now that we are going to look at glorifying God when we are here, because when we are the ambassadors, we are representing God here. So if you are representing someone, you have to be nice and laughing so that, that you are both somewhere our God will also be glorified because of you and me. So, we are going to go through, I had a chart there, I don't know whether media can be able to put a chart. There are, three, there are four things we need to understand as believers. One, we should have love. Two, okay, it's there. There, first one, we should have love. Two, you have to pro protect. Three, you have to promote. And all of it all, you have to pray because this, you cannot love something without getting proud of it and telling someone because it is, it is something you love. If you, saw, you love something, you have also to protect. And if you are, you are protecting, you have also to promote. When you are moving around, you have to say, oh, I'm in Upendo. You are not ashamed of saying, I'm in UBC. Because you, are, you, you love this church. God has sent you here for a purpose. So we, 
we will be going through these things. I don't know whether I will finish, but you see, we, like, we can start, we will start from love, come to protection, come to promoting, and all of it all, we have to pray. We have to pray. The scripture commands us to love one another as Jesus had loved us. We must draw supernatural strength from the indwelling spirit of Christ Jesus. Because we have love, we should love one another. So our title today is to glorify God. We, we should glorify God by we should also by loving one another. We should love one another. Love should prevail among us. When we go to the book of uh, John, let's go to the scripture. John 15, 9 to 17. What does the Bible say? As, as the Father has, let's read. As the Father has loved me, so I have, I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that you, your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this. To lay down one's life for one's friend. Next. You are my friends. Okay. Fifteen. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruits, fruits that will last and to and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. You, Jesus was talking to the disciples when he was about to, to go. He was telling them, go out there. Make disciples. Love one another. You have, when you ask something in my name, even now we are saying, we ask in Jesus Christ. Everything we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. So, it was saying, the first commandment, let's go, to, if you read in John chapter 13, 35 and 34, it says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. 35. By this, everyone will know you are my disciples. And if you love one another, you are my disciples. By loving one another. Uh, 1 Peter 4, 7 to 9. The end of this, let me read it again. The end of all this is near. What is it saying? The end of all this. What we are talking, the end is about. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind, so that you may pray. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sin. What is the Bible saying? Love each other because Love covers a lot, a multitude of sin. That means love is is an is essential. Is a, is a, is a good is essential in our spiritual growth because we have to love and protect. We have to love one another because we are 
children, God's children. So, when we love others, we'll, 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 have, we'll have the urge of coming. Let me say a, a, a story, because maybe soon I will be called a man of stories. My pastor, I think he has spoken near Reverend Samoy in, I don't remember, way back, I think it is some 88. He was selling, he, was, he, was a, he had a shop within the town. And our lunch was milk and other bread when we were walking those days. So it was only less than, a, less, I think less than a two shillings, one something. So if we go two people, we get half loaf, we have a packet of milk, KCC by then, uh, half a liter, half a liter, and half bread. And we sit there and talk, and we like this guy. Little did I know he was even a pastor by then. I didn't know because we was still, I was like a year in that town in Eldred. No, about two years. So I like this guy so much. He's the way he talks to us. And you know, during, I think, eight is, I think I, I said, I think 84. There's not, it was a famine in Kenya and we could not get milk. So this guy, this pastor, Reverend Samai, will keep some for us because he knows we will be there anyway. So he will keep spare some. And then when we go there, our lunch is there. I had a friend, but he passed away. A good friend of mine. But the Lord took him. So we used to go there. We, he was a great friend of mine. We, we, we even, they could not do anything without him. Even when he was working in his side, in his uh, section, he will come during, lunch, uh, during tea time. We take tea, Kenyan style. But I like this man. I like this man. But little did I know he was a pastor. But I think he was in uh, Bible college. And thereafter, I was told he's the pastor in fellowship. That is what we went. There where we were, that's where we went because of this particular person. Because he had the love for us. I took to my family. Most of my family were baptized there. Everybody was, even when we started our church, which I am proud to say also because I have to be proud of my church because I also started. It is the same guy who brought people to come and say, this guy has run away from the service. He has not used his spiritual gifts for a long time. As you were there, I told you this story. I said the same story previously. So this guy brought the child to my doorstep. And now, no escape. You have to start. And from there, our life changed tremendously. We, because this same guy, whom I beloved, I think is it because of the love or, I, or God was choosing him. You see, you can have love at the same time God is, God is using you. Okay, let's look a few, uh, some of the biblical people who, who, uh, who also loved God. For... Let's look at a couple of people. Let me mention a few of them because we cannot finish all of them. Let's mention a few of them. We know of uh, uh, Abel when he gave the offering. We know of Abraham. We know of Moses. We know of Enoch. We know of uh, Noah, David. Nehemiah, Nehemiah uh, Daniel, Esther, Ruth, and many others. The list is so long. I want to use a few examples to, to, help, to explain why if you love God, so you will transform others. My point here is, you, if you love something, these people love God. The Bible says in Genesis 3, no, Genesis 4, Three to eight. In the course of time, Cain brought some of his fruits of the la of the soil and of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portion. Listen to that, fat portion from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was cast down. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? 
Why is your face down, downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be appreciated? You will not, oh no, you, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It, it desires it, it, it desire to have you, but you must rule over it. Now again, say to his, stop there. God is warning because God sees you. I may pretend to love you and I'm not loving you. I've seen people who oh, yeah, smile, give you his cell phone, within as it disappeared, maybe you were working with him or you were li- One time we went with an Indian to Kenya and we shared the plane. After Dubai and he went to India, I, I went to Kenya, came back, tried to call him. I don't know why he gave me a wrong phone or what. And we were friends. For, from here, Dallas to Dubai, Dubai, how many hours? We shared a lot of things. I tried to convert him. He said, I'm Hindu. I, we said a lot of stuff. He was head of uh, Walmart in the head office. So I, when I was coming, I said, yeah, I will talk to this guy. Maybe he can give me something or maybe. No, who knows? When I came back, it, the phone he gave me, not working. So that's love we don't want. Now, the, God is, is warning Ken, why are you downcasted? If you do good, you will be appreciated. Surely, will you appreciate somebody? In accounting, we say, there's nothing for nothing in accounting. When you go to bank, you remove your money, it, the transaction has to be seen somewhere. There's Always, you don't just bring the money and don't put it somewhere because at the end of the year, they will, the auditors will want to see you remove $200 here in your bank. Where is it in the books? So it has two entries. So God also was seeing this guy was, was not happy. And then he's warning him. He's warning him. Let your anger not rule over. You, even us, let's, let's love one another and appreciate God for making us come together, worship. I think some of, uh, some of us are lucky because we are here not because we, we met it on our own. God allowed it to enable us to be here. If you can, I remember when we were going with my wife and we drove to the embassy. Not when we came to school, when we first visited the U.S. When we were called by friends to visit, they reach a time they say, Keep Chilis and Mary, we are not coming to Kenya. If you don't come visit us in America, we are not coming. They say, okay, let's come, call us. Then we went 2012, or so, I remember. And then now we are going to the embassy. We were the, all, all the, all around Nakuru there, I'm traveling, and my wife is saying, will we be, I say, this, if they don't give us, what have we done wrong? If they give us, it's still well and good. If they don't give us, it is still the same. We have done nothing. And then you, you know, we, you, we, go to, we go to embassy and everything they take, they take, we don't, we don't know. And then they say, okay, take this ping, is it ping or a paper? Then go after. We, we, want, we are not even, now we have been going there several times, you know, but before you know, So we, we went out and we now started, is it, what, what, is it right or is it not right? Is it, are we cotton or no? Then we say, let's call somebody. Oh, my, oh, so and so, oh, we call somebody in California. Say, what paper did they give you? Say, a green one. They say, oh, you are good. So go wait for two, week, two weeks and come. And go to where? We, by then, I think there were no DHL in Eldoret. They say, where is the nearest DHL? I think we put in Nakuru or where. I don't even remember. It's a long time. 2012. So we came as friends. To visit our friends. Why? Because of that love. Ni upendo kwa sababu ata awa kwa leukua na upendo kwa sababu alisema awawesi kuja Kenya kama sisi atujawa tembele hapa. One good thing also when they come to Kenya we live together. They make their own food. We give, we allow them to play in the kitchen to make their own 
food. Because now we understand there are food here. By then we, we were not aware. My wife allowed them to, he said, be free. But, but he said, we like Mary's food. We know, but maybe there, there were things they would want to make their own, their own. And I'm not saying to say that I am proud of them. I think you saw them two weeks ago. They came visiting us because we are friends. You have to portray your friendship. So, Apple was angry and planning evil to kill his brother because of jealousy. Why was he blessed? Why was, not, why was I not blessed? Even us as now, Kipchilis has been blessed. Do you see, why, are you, why should you not be happy your brother has been blessed? I've seen, I know, when we were working in Kenya, when one of promotions come, those days, early 80s, and if those, you get the promotion, we are happy, and then you will see those who were not successful to get, they are not happy with you, they will even walk out. Why should you walk out and you know God's time is the best? Me, for sure, I don't care myself. I don't care. You see, this kiss, I can go anywhere. I open, I love my... When I walk there, you see, dip, dip, dip. Because I love what I'm doing. Not, I don't want to shy away. I love... One time, we visit a, a family, and the children, you see, the children are always open. They say, I didn't know... I don't, know, I don't even remember... About several years ago. I didn't know. I thought you were just a cleaner. After we share a meal, we talk. You see, children are very always open. They say, me, yeah, I thought you were employed to be a cleaner. I didn't know even you were a pastor. So, because, we, we, because of the love I have, I can do anything. I don't care because I know my reward is waiting for me. Where, what, do what you do because you know what you are doing and you know what you expect. Don't do it. The Bible says, in, don't do it because your master is seeing you. Whether your master is there or not, do it. You see, this guy, they are brothers. The courage of being the courage to kill your brother because of something over him. Why don't you? I thought I could advise this guy say, also you, but you yourself work hard, next time give a, a, a better overing. So again, he killed his brother because of hatred. And the Bible says in Proverbs, hatred is star of conflicts. But Love covers over all wrongs. So he killed his brother. He sinned already. So because of so from there, we can, we can, even Abraham, I don't need to explain much about Abraham. We all know his father of faith, but I know, I can say three things about Abraham. Abraham was obedient, one. He was giving, two. He was faithful. And then he was, even the Bible says, father of faith. He was faithful. You cannot protect, you cannot love, you cannot promote if you don't have faith at the same time. There's also another guy here, Enoch. It's a good example. Enoch is an excellent example of working with God as demonstrated in Genesis 5, 21-24. Let's read. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. 
Although Enoch lived a total of 365 years, Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more because God took him. Cheap. Gone. Because he was faithful. These examples are good. Somebody is faithful, somebody is working with God, is faithful, he does, he loves, he loves his children, and then God say, no, 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 no. Maybe if I continue to live in here, Satan will tempt him. Yep. It's gone. Because of loving God and working with God. So, an another example also. Is uh, no. No is another good example. Let's read Genesis 6 5 to 8. The Bible says, The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on earth. And that it Every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on earth. And his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created. And with them the animals, the birds, and the creatures that moves along the ground, for oh, I regret that I made them. Because of sin, and not following the command, because the Bible, the, uh, previously we said, the commandment says, love God, you are God. Only. These people were placed, and they were like, we, what, we have everything. So, they were not following God's, it's only no, but no found favor in his eyes. No, no. Let's, let me read again. But no found favor in the eyes of the Lord. I want to tell you members of UPC, try to find favor in the eyes of the Lord. There are so many things comes after. I, am, I, can, I don't want to say my testimony, but there are so many things. Even when you are driving, God will, will talk to you through the Holy Spirit. And One time, I was driving, coming to church from Fort Worth, and it was raining. Came through uh, 121, 365, then I was following a, a truck. Something tells such me as no, can you go to different to the other lane? See, I wanted 635 when you are in the far end, traffic will be high. So I always you either be number one, number two on the left. Then this truck was in number one. I came number two, and still that thing go far away. Go to number three. I went, I swapped. And then within like not even ten minutes, this truck Turn round. So if I was following, I was going to be the victim. That God is, can do things, so we need to love him and be dedicated and serve him. Okay. Let's continue. We must cut our, we must cut against the passion when God permits people to live sinfully and even prosper in life. They tend to forget about God. When we are comfortable, I have seen. Even us, when you are, everything is good, you, you, are, you are prayer, you just pray as normal, but let me tell you, when something goes wrong, your child is not going the right way, you have to pray all the time. Pray for Gupta. I want to pray for Gupta so that he can I pray for Kamau so that Kamau can come. I remember when we went to Kenya, we lost our tap. 
The whole family we stood to pray for my brother who was a drunkard. And yet, every time he calls, he wants money. Every, one time he tricked us with my wife and said, I'm in hospital. And he said, okay, if he's in hospital, let's now rush because of that laugh. I love my brother. We had to drove all the way, like 20 miles. It's from here, like Fort Worth. We went to the hospital, asked, ask, where's Simon? Where's Simon? Simon. No, Simon. Then we came. We came to the center. And then he emerged from a, a bar and laughed. Can you imagine? We've, we've left everything. We drove 20 miles or 20 kilometers. And this guy is not in hospital. He came out laughing and said, Oh, yes, I knew. Nilichua mutakuja. Nilichua mutakuja. So, I don't want to go further. We prayed to do this guy. What was my, when was the year when we, went, my, we lost our dad? 2019, 2018. We all stood up for this very guy. It just happened I was given to preach because the church they brought it to our home that time. I had to, I preached and then we say we, we have a request. We want to pray for this Simon because we need him. We prayed for him. Before even we came, during, we, we stayed for about a month. Before the month ends, he came to me and said, this time round, I don't want anyone to be proud to say I preached to Simon. I myself have decided. I myself have decided I want to, to follow Christ. And I want you to pray for me. And I could see he was strong already. I say no. Uh, Reverend, some, there, there, were two, there were other pastors in my old man's place. I say, Re, uh, Reverend uh, Simpson and Ed, uh, chairman of the church are in in, the whole, in our homes. Can you go there? They will pray for you. He went there. He was kicked out. He came back. He said, they have refused to pray for me. I said, Lord, let me take you there. Can you guys listen to this guy? He has said, I don't want any one of you to be proud that I am, you talk to me. I have decided on my own. I have decided on my own. And I have, I'm going to turn away from my evil. What really? They prayed for him. The following Sunday we went. Up to now, up to now, I can be a witness. He's the one we are using at home. Because of, we pray. It's a family. So, let's continue praying. Let's continue for you, pray for UPC. Soon and soon, all these chairs will be built up because of love. You, you love your church, you have to promote. You love your church, you have to protect. The love of God is free. It's a free will that you either accept it or no. My brother, free will. We preach to him so many years Free will. So he took the free will to accept Christ. So the love of God is just there. Free will. You have to accept or no. Let's all accept. I know we have accepted. That's why we are here anyway. But we need to reflect. Let's be the reflector. When we, we are out there, you are walking, you are in your medical field, something to be seen and say, eh, what? I think, are you, are you a believer or something? Because when you see the way you behave, the first thing they will ask, are you a Christian? Why? Because they have seen something in you. The Bible says, produce. Now Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. So, we should seek God so that we can find favor in the Lord. Next point I can say, the people rejected God during Noah's time. And they were all wiped out by the blood. Nobody remained. Except those who were in that. It's only the one family. That's why we are still existing now. It's only 
Noah's family, that human being, are still existing. And the Lord commanded him to get unclean animals, bears, and clean, clean animals, and unclean every. Go to, that's why you can be in the US and you can see the same parts. Have you studied when you are walking? You see, part, are these parts the same? Even the trees. It can be different because of the climatical condition, but they are still, it is the same. Even the flowers, the same. Same. It can be different because maybe in home we get everything. No summer. So the flowers come. Eh? No winter. So ours will look different, but they're still the same species. Hello, hello, are you there? There's another good example I want to also explain is before David became king, he loved his, he loved God too. What? Let's see David. David is also another example of loving God. He loved the armies of God that he was prepared to do something. He was prepared to to over himself. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 16 says, David asked the man standing next to him, what will be done for the man who, will, who kills this Philistine and removes the disgrace from Israel? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defile the armies of, living, of the living God? He was ready. He, he just visited there. We know the story. If I can explain for, so that you can capture. His, his father sent him to take food to his brothers who were in the battle pit. When he went there, he was also anxious. And then this champion, Goliath, was coming out and shouting, Come, send a man to kill me. And then, you see, when you are there, you have to you listen also. You, he had. He was disturbed because how can somebody say we oh, are Kenya, Muna Kujat, Nani of Kenya Kujat, this is Napigana, Uganda? Ninu Pure, remember Idi Amin? He told Kenyatta to do what can you do? He said, I want to take after Naifasha uh, because it's ours. So this guy said, Who is this Philistine? So David offered himself to kill Goliath and rescued the armies of God from ridicule of out of the love he had for his nation Israel. We can read uh, 1 Samuel 17, 32 said, David said to Saul, let no one lose or add on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Servant David will kill. You know the story. You explain it to him how he has been cutting his animals. He explained, you know. You, have been, you are all, you know the Bible. I, I don't want to, don't waste time there. You know. So this guy was willing because of, he loves his his. If you don't laugh, why should you even walk the whole day to bring food? You would find a reason because you can tell your dad, I'm watching over the stock. Can you send someone else? But he laughed. He loves his brothers. He has to take food. Maybe they don't have food. Thinking there, something amazing is working. They are being challenged. But he, he had to take the thing. But he was not doing it alone. God was using him. We have said several times, God partners with you to be in Upendo. He partners, he touches you to be UBC. He partners you to be leading men's fellowship. He partners with you to be leading ladies. So, God partnered with David. And David, listen to our, our uh, let's listen to how the Philistine Goliath despised because he, he, he has, he's a, the worldly guy. We are, there's two men here. We have a godly man and a worldly Man, listen to what he's saying, Goliath, to David. Verse 41. Meanwhile, the, the Philistine, with his 
still bearer in front of him. Keep coming closer to David. Next. Okay. He, he, he keep coming closer to David. He looked over David and saw that he was a little more than a boy. A little more than a boy. Glowing with health and handsome. And he despised him. He said to David, And am I a dog that you come at me with sticks and David, am I a dog? Yogiburi, Yogiburi. Those who don't understand why Yogiburi, proud. You are proud because God has blessed you. You are a giant. You have the energy. You can do things on your own. No, you have to do things as guided by the Holy Spirit, as God permits. So, listen to put that. Put the David side. He said, and he said to David, and I am, let's continue. I am, am I a dog that you come with sticks and the Philistine cast David by his cats? Cats with cheese, small cheese. He said to, he said, and I shall give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David, is David respond. David said to the Philistine, you come against me with, a, with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. Continue. Whom you have, that's right, whom you have, divide. Let's continue. This very day, I will give, no, let me, after divide, it says, this, this day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I shall strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will give the carcass of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is God in Israel. There is God in Israel. He was not doing it to show himself. He was suing for the glory of God. And then he continued. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. You listen to that? The battle is not for David. It is for the Lord. What we do is we glorify. We, I think the title is saying we do it to glorify God. Everything we do, we do it to glorify God. Even David, in that verse he said, it's not because of what you have. It is not because... When David did, they say even he rushed because he was in it and he asked everything. He rushed, he picked some stones with this sling. He stands and care because he knows he's walking with the Lord. So what happened? He killed him. That's the end of the story. He killed him because, and people there realized these Israelites are worshiping a true God. Can you can this boy kill our giant? So many people there, we can imagine they could rethink and say, I think we are in the wrong side. So re re examine yourself. And are you starving? Re examine yourself. Another good guy, another example is Nehemiah. During the captive, we know in 516, they were, Israel was captured and they were taken to Babylon. Nehemiah happened to be the cup bearer. You know the cup bearer? In Kenya, they call what? Assistant? 
What do they got? Chief? You don't even know. Yeah? There's a name they call. Chief Kap. Kapera is the one before they give the king food just to test. So with this poison, is the kapera going fast. And then the king will not taste the food. So he was in a good, you are in the palace. But because of his love, because of his love, Nehemiah loved God. He loved God. He loved the people. He loved his city, Jerusalem. He showed this love through his determination to leave the prestigious position in the palace of Sitla of Susa and return to Judah to reconstruct the wall and the gates of the city of Jerusalem. Let's read. Nehemiah 1-2 there said, And only one of my brothers came from Judah, from Judah with some other men, and I questioned them about the Jews remnant that had survived the exile, and also about he inquired about those when you are packing Yuma, about the, the exile who survived the exile and went back to the province are in great disgrace. They told him, they said to him, they said to me, Nehemiah is reporting, they said to me, those who survived the exile and back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. The walls of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates are being burned. So, the Bible says, Nehemiah was troubled. So, Nehemiah was troubled. He didn't even sleep. The Bible says, he was troubled. He fasted because of the love. You know the story. He had, to go, he had to go to the king and ask for permission to leave. Despite all the prestigious, the palace, and so many other things, he had to leave. We are even told, when you read the whole story, it reached a time they were building, one hand having a spear, and another one constructing, because people were against. So many, you know the stories. You know what the Bible says. So, let, our, let's conclude to say a few things. Therefore, if we love God, we should love his people and that which belong to God. If you love, we love ourselves, so we should love what belongs to God and we should protect. Let's we protect UBC. I've seen let me say a quick story. 2016, 2017, I don't remember. You can recall. I say true stories. I don't say imaginary stories. One, it rained, and here was flooded. Here, here, in the sanctuary. Flooded. We, were, we came for a meeting. Saturday. And then they put pictures. You know our media guys took pictures first, and then people at home, they saw it. Hey, my judge, hey, my judge is flooded. Those who have the love of UBC, we were told, some, what the pastor said here, people left it because it was still early, around, the, they left their things and, and came running. I remember, we walked here after night. People came with, them, with machines to come and pump out the water because of their love. And then one, one I, can, I can quote one, he was asked, where are you going? I said, my church is... is in a mess, and I, I love my church, I leave everything, I go. He left, he came. He, he walked all day here, and we restored. Elvis even walked up tonight. I was here too. We had to, Dr. Sang went by machines to pump water from the machine. I think they failed. They were not pumping water outside. Because of that love, people stayed up to midnight. Do you think they were staying because they would like they want to stay they, they don't have anything else to do it's because they have the love of judges properties God 
God also loves us and we ought to love one another as his creation. We need to understand that God's worldly blessing represents his grace and mercy to all man, mankind. Therefore, we all also love his child. What I'm not trying to say, what you are blessings, what you have is God's reflection. He's, he's blessing you for the sake of using them to glorify his name. It's not by chance. See, Goliath said, it's me. My, my cup bearer, my sword, my everything. He was down. Or a little boy. A little, the Bible says, a little more than a boy. When you read in, in let me read this verse. I don't want to live here without reading it. In Corinthians chapter 13, 13. We have three things. We have faith, we have hope, and love. And the Bible says, among all, love is above other, is the greatest. And now these three main, and now these three remain. No, these three remains. Faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these all is love. To create unity in our church, we must commit to build up one another in love. Since God reached us, he first, God first reached us before we reached him. Because he knew, he knew, he knows you even before. The Bible says he knew you, I, know, I knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. Since God reached out to us before we reached out to him. Thus, we should always thank him for saving us by his sovereign grace. We should also do all we can to walk in God's will, even though we may have made wrong decisions in the past that have created our present crisis. We are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Kipchilis is not perfect. I might... I, when you, are, you, when you come to salvation, you don't want to recall your past. But I have seen, even the bad people in the village, when they repent, they are they do good, great things. So, we don't want to, to, the Bible says, don't dwell on your past. Don't dwell on your past. Soldier on and pray. Although many people around us violate biblical values, we must work with God at all times. Your friends, you can see there. What can I tell this guy? You are, they are doing the wrong thing. During Noah's time, they say this msee is Meshikwa na Kicha. He built. The Bible says, I've, I try, they say 120 days. The, the, Commentators say that nobody is even sure. He spent a lot of time building that ark because of faith. And he, he had faith in God because he knew he has been warned, I'm going to wipe. Nobody will, will remain. This guy said, this guy is, what is he in in India and Ajanga? Maybe you are Christo, you are Melewa. You don't, in villages, when we started this, uh, when the gospel came, they start giving us names. I was going to uh, pull gospel charge. Pull gospel charge, you know, you don't just, just praise. Like, say, hmm? People even go around and... So. They say, they gave us a name. I don't remember. I cannot recall. But I don't want to say Therefore, we should walk in the will of God and obey the teaching patterns of the Bible. We should walk in the patterns and the teachings of the Bible. And those are the Ten Commandments summarize everything. Summarize everything. So, can you now recall and rethink are you in the right? Are you 
prepare. Now, we said we need to start building one another now because of our love. Protect. Pray. Because you are a representative of Christ here on earth. The embassy and the people working there, you have to have love for those who are coming to the embassy to serve. We are the representatives. So it seems we will not go to the protection area. It seems we will not go to the others. I think we should be also obedient with time. Don't pour. I think we, we are going to conclude there and say in Corinthians uh, the same verse come to have a little bit in verse 3 or it says When you have all the prophecies, you can say all mystery. You can command mountains to move from this direction to there. You can even sacrifice your body as a living sacrifice. But if you don't have love, it's useless. You are a sounding gang. The Bible says, you are a sounding gang. So, you have to there, I want to say next week, God will, we will continue with the sermon about protecting our, protecting what belongs to God. Because we love God, we love his things. We love God, we love his people. We love God, we love ourselves. Because we, a judge is not the building, a judge is us. So we should love ourselves as brothers and sisters. Can you imagine me and my wife driving all the way, leaving everything because of our brother. Now, I think God touched us because now he's, he's, he's now he has even formed a, 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 an, I think a group trying to reach out to these uh, addict, addict people. Because God wants to use him. But before that, if we, were, we did have love, he would have gone. He would be in that same position. So, let us stand. We want to pray. The uh, altar is open if you feel like you want you want to be prayed. Let us pray. Father Lord Jesus, we come before you. Once more, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for speaking to us that we need to love one another because we are your children. Lord Jesus, you first loved us and we need to love others too for your glory. Thank you, my Father, Lord Jesus, that we, are, we have listened that you, are, you have commanded us that this is a new commandment that we should love one another so that we can portray your image because without love, we, we can do nothing. Lord Jesus, it is only you that you are going to touch us so that we can reflect your image. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord, because you are God who is able to do things in your own way. We know we have all the needs. You know us. You know our heart. Touch us, Lord Jesus, so that we can glorify you all the time because you are God. We don't want you to be troubled like when during the time of no. Lord Jesus, it is no different even now. People are trying because they are prosperous. They want to do their own things. Lord, I want to pray that you touch them in your own way so that they can, they can come with fellowship together. They can go to any time next to them, Lord, that they may fellowship and love you and they together to, to serve you. I want to pray for UBC members that they continue to serve you, Lord Jesus, that they continue to love one another because you have commanded us to do so. I want to pray, Lord Jesus, that as we go out of this sanctuary, Lord, it is not because the way we came, we have something that we need to portray out there so that we can reflect you. Let us be reflectors of your word. I want to pray, Lord Jesus, that you be with us. Oh, I want to pray, trusting and believing. And everybody say, Amen.